Global Space Congress has established itself as one of the most important space events in the region. It attracted this year more than 50 countries with more than 600-700 specialists from around the world, varying from uh, space agency leaders to industry to academia. So it has been re really reflecting all the important factors that are important for the future of space and how we look forward to the future of space as well. Well, I think the space uh, is evolving very fast. We have a lot of emerging international players. We have new space and a lot of space entrepreneurs. And uh, the space sector is very dynamic. So we all have to keep pace and we have to exploit worldwide expertise. I just came out of a meeting where we had representation from Roscosmos, JAXA, NASA, ESA, uh, the Chinese Space Agency, CARI from Korea, uh, Saudi Arabia, UAE. You don't find the capability of doing that unless you come to a forum like this that, that kind of entices people from what I like to believe is the family of spacefaring nations to come together uh, for a common purpose. I think the biggest challenge facing the community today is lowering the cost of access to space. We need to figure out a way to get to space cheaply, reliably, and if we can lower that cost, you can see a lot of new businesses that are going to take shape in outer space. I think the biggest challenge is still reliability and cost. So we have to be more effective. And you know that the costs are going down. The access to space is becoming more cheap. So in fact, today we are not in a space race as we used to be, at least between governments. But we are in a new space race between industries. The thing I tell the young people and I learned this while I was uh, teaching after I left NASA was this is your opportunity to create, to create your future. We need someone who starts out their career enthusiastic about engineering, math, science, the arts, putting them all together and then coming up with a vision and then striving for that vision.